discuss what the most popular question I'm getting from women on my official webpage drberezowska.com. I was surprised that during last month the top question is the science of displacement of intrauterine device or IUD or the contraceptive. I was surprised because these answers you have to get from doctors who insert in IUDs in your uterus. But the majority of women are looking for this information on the internet. I'm Dr. Lena Berezowska and I'm welcoming you on my video channel on YouTube. And today in this video we are going to talk about signs of displacement or removal of IUD. Some women call IUDs spirals but it's more like folk name. In medicine we call it intrauterine device. Sometimes we are talking about intrauterine system, but usually uh, when we talking about system, we talk about hormonal uh, intrauterine device such as Mirana and some others. Intrauterine hormonal system can be used not just like contraceptive, but also for treatment of specific diseases. There are so many types and shapes of IUDs and I'm not gonna discuss all of them because uh, intrauterine device it could be simple or they could have some ingredients and sometimes we are talking about intrauterine hormonal systems like Mirana because it has hormones but again mm, there are many different types and varieties and sizes of intrauterine devices and sometimes it can be used not just as contraceptives but also uh, for treatment of specific condition. There is another folk name for uh, IUDs, it's spirals, but we hardly use it in medicine, so we usually call it IUDs. Whenever doctor insert IUD, there are specific rules that allows us to control the condition, the position actually of IUD in uh, uterine cavity. If you look at the structure of IUD, it has body and it has a removal thread. And removal actually means to remove the IUD whenever it's necessary. So this thread's quite long and that's why the doctor cuts the threads and leaves two centimeters of it uh, just uh, from the top of uh, cervix. And in this way, uh, women can control the position of IUD even themselves, inserting two fingers in the uh, vagina and trying to find the tips of removal threads. Of course, not everyone can do this, but the majority of women can, che women can check this position of IUD, especially if they don't have any type of complaints, because not always Malposition or displacement of IUD um, can be with some signs like cramps, for example, or more severe bleeding during periods. And these two centimeters of threads that are left, they are useful because uh, thanks to these threads, we can remove IUD when it's necessary. Usually, women do not feel any IUDs inside of the uterus and they don't complain. And that's why IUD shouldn't create any discomfort. But sometimes uh, women can complain that during a sexual relationship like intercourse, they could have some discomfort and especially the partner. Sometimes they feel like something is tickling. It doesn't mean that uterine device is misplaced but again if it's continuing and if it's create not a very pleasant feelings um, in a woman or in her partner then it's better to go to a doctor and do ultrasound also when women check themselves and cannot feel this threat so we probably need to do ultrasound as well because sometimes the removal of uh, IUDs and this displace could be without any pain, without any discharge. Modern ultrasound devices are very sensitive, so we can see intrauterine device in a uterine cavity. So if we see the IUDs in the uterus, then we can reassure the woman that everything is fine. 
just she cannot feel the stress because it probably were detached. But if we don't see uh, IUD, then we probably should advise another type of contraception if women not desire to have pregnancy. If we see on ultrasound that IUD is displaced, it's better to remove it completely because it does not do its contraceptive effect. Some women are afraid that IUD can get into the belly and damage intestine, but perforation of uterus, how we call it, it's such a rare condition. We hardly see it in our practice. So usually we should, you shouldn't worry about perforation of uterus, especially when the insertion of IUD was done uh, not just right after your delivery or cesarean section. So why IUDs could be displaced or even self-removed? There are many reasons and sometimes we don't know all reasons. It could be a wrong size or shape of IUD. It could be wrong play insertion of IUD, like some mistakes during insertion. Also sometimes in the uterus we have fibroids or polyps and we didn't notice them on ultrasound. Sometimes the shape of uterus is different, especially when the woman has anatomic defect, or which which is was wasn't recognized uh, during ultrasound, and many other causes. We don't need to do hysteroscopy to remove the intrauterine device because usually uh, there are other techniques to remove it, but it's not necessary to use the most expensive one. One we are talking about removal of IUDs, uh, if. Uh, it's still in the uterine cavity. When a woman has a serious symptoms of discomfort, such as bleeding and constant bleeding or discharge, vaginal discharge, and it's actually for not just for a couple of days, but for weeks and even months. Also, when a woman has some cramps and pains during um, her periods and she hardly can tolerate it. Sometimes when you when woman uses the hormonal system, she might not have any periods at all. And it also creates some kind of chaos because she would like to have regular periods, but she doesn't. And in this situation if she's not happy or so or if she has irregular bleedings and discharge we might remove this IUD because it's not comfortable for women. Simple regular IUDs do not increase the risk of atopic pregnancy. It's in the past, but hormonal can increase because it has progestin. Progestins have some effects on uterine tubes and that's why it could increase the risk of atopic pregnancy. Hormonal system can change the pattern of um, menstruation, actually it's withdrawal bleedings, uh, the pattern of uh, cycles, and it can cause a lot of unpleasant feelings uh, because if woman had before a very regular periods and then suddenly she started having problem problems with her periods. She might be quite unhappy with this situation. So in this case, we would remove uh, IUDs before uh, it expires. If you feel discomfort, if you're not sure if you have intrauterine device in your uterus, if you have any other questions, please see your doctor, go through the ultrasound, and then make a decision what to do next. If you like this video, press like and please subscribe on my channel and I'll see you in other videos.